Hello. Hello. My name is Penny Allen, and I'm a film director and producer. And I'm here at the uh, Festival of the of World Film in Montreal, and um, with my film "Late for My Mother's Funeral" or "En Retard pour l'Enterrement de Ma Mère." And the film is a is a kind of um, exploration on the uh, enigma of absence. It's about the ten children of a notorious jewel smuggler in Algeria who has died and left her family somewhat adrift. And so it has, it has much to say about identity crises and it has much to say about guilt and about the importance of the mother. That's what makes it universal is the importance of the mother. Who is in it? This a real family, the family Zuri. And the two main characters, all, like all of the ten children, are in the film, and they're all they're between the ages of 35 and 55. And the two main characters are Abdel Jalil Zouri and his sister Souad Zouri. It's a it's a, a Moroccan family living in Algeria, and the uh, the uh, that is the part of their identity crisis. Trained actors or uh, no, no, not at all. Real people. They're real people. One of the things I discovered in making the movie was how natural Algerians were. I'm going to call them Algerians because they grew up and lived their lives in Algeria. And how natural they are in front of a camera. And I think the reason is that they don't, they're not part of the culture uh, from, uh, you know, the what, Western world, I'll call it, or United States, Canada. But they're, they're, so, they're not part of the culture where, where they're aware of what it's like to be in front of a camera. You know how people who, are, who know that they're going to be in a film or know that they have their, their picture taken, they suddenly, yeah. they're suddenly different. Self-conscious. Know? They're self-conscious, you know, and they take a position and yeah. you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> you know? And they don't do that. No. They, go, they are wonderful actors. They right. really are wonderful performers. Right. Which city did you shoot? Where? We, we shot in Algeria. In, in Algeria? Also, no, or? not in Algeria. Near in Oran and in Ain Timouchet. We're in the west. Uh, the Zineb, the, the famous uh, notorious smuggler, was in Ain Timouchet, which is near the border with Morocco. That's why she was a smuggler, you know, because it was easy to go back and forth. She got the gold and the, and the emeralds in Morocco and brought them into Algeria to sell. And we also shot then in uh, Casablanca, in Morocco, because the family is Moroccan origin, and one of the daughters was sent at a young age, 15 years old, was sent to Morocco to be married. She was married off at the age of 15, and so we followed her to Morocco. I mean, we, when she got divorced, actually, after the death of her mother, we also shot in France, in Paris, a little bit, because Abdel Jalil lives in Paris, and his sister Suad finally after all of her life in Algeria, comes to Paris. And most of the sisters live in Macon in France. And so we shot in Macon as well. Was it difficult to shoot in uh, Morocco and Algeria? I mean, in, did you find uh, crews there that could... Uh... No, we, had our, we took our own people all right. from, from France. And uh, it was not particularly difficult to shoot in uh, Morocco. It was somewhat difficult to shoot in Algeria. You know, they're a very... Uh, um, attentive, you know, they, they, they followed us and they, and they observed everything and, and uh, they were very, very careful about what, what we were doing and very, very distressed when we didn't do exactly what we were supposed to do. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So tell us about uh, the festival here. What, the, what kind of reception did you have? What kind of screening? Uh, are you happy? I, yes, I am very happy with my screenings. I've had two screenings so far, and the audience has been very uh, receptive. Yes. I think they're kind of surprised about the film. You know, maybe it isn't what they expected it to be at all. And because the film is not a documentary, the film is fiction. And you know, maybe it's maybe there's some documentary moments in it when uh, you know someone will turn and address the camera. But it is not a, a documentary, and, and so you know it's the creation of all of us, of these children and of myself, and so people are surprised. And the question, the Q and A's have been really interesting. 
you know, the second time it went on for over an hour, the Q&A, which is sort of unheard of. Yeah. So that's your first film pre festival presentation? This is the first presentation of this film, yes. World uh -huh. premiere? It's the world premiere of this right. film, yes. Do you yeah. think uh, the festival circuit will be important for your film? Oh, I think so, yes. It would yeah? be very important for this film. And I think that, it, it, I think that it, it plays well in a festival. As I said, people yeah. are surprised, you know, it's not exactly what they expected and people are quite curious about Algeria. Which language is it shot? It's shot mostly in French, right. and uh, occasionally people speak Arabic, and then we'll have subtitles in French. And then I also have an English version where the entire thing is, is subtitled in English. Okay. So I suppose that all the festivals uh, in uh, North, uh, North Africa will be pretty uh, interested. There are lots of festivals there. Yes, but there's also a diaspora, you know, yes, of Moroccans of around the world. In France. In France, <laughs> yes. Here, in, yes. in, uh, in, in Montréal, of course, there definitely yeah. is a, a large community of Moroccans. And, um, well, actually, I don't know. You know, I think, I think the film would play well in Germany because of, um, of immigrants' presence there and other countries where there are lots of, um, well, I'll say it, lots of Muslim right. immigrants. Right. And so what inspired you? What's the reason behind making that film? Well, uh, it was because Abdel Jalil came to a screening of my earlier film, The Soldier's Tale, and he came up to me afterwards and said, I want you to make a film about the Moroccans in Algeria, and, and he kind of pursued me for about a year, and I listened to him. We had many meetings, and I listened to him. I learned a great deal about you know, Algerian history and about Moroccans in Algeria, but I didn't want to make that movie. And also he was very angry and polemical. But then his mother died, and up until then I didn't even know there was a mother and that she was a famous smuggler and he had nine brothers and sisters. And then he became existentially anguished and, you know, he went back into his identity crisis and he was guilt-ridden for not having taken care of his mother or even been back to Algeria for 12 years. And it got very interesting, you know, so... <laughs> So many more issues came into it, and that's when I decided to make the movie. We went, we went to Algeria very soon after his mother's death. And that's how you got the title as well? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's because he was late for his mother's funeral that the movie was launched. It's a great title. Thank you. So we hope to see more of the film in the festival circuit. I'm sure our audience will uh, like to follow uh, the steps of your film. And what's your next movie? Are you, have you plans? Well, planned I have it some yet? plans. I don't talk about it yet, though. Okay. We'll, we'll see to that another time in an interview on the festival circuit. Thank you so much. Thank Brendan. you very much.